Okay, so the system has come back up now, and I'm going to log in. Um, so basically, at this point, you should have installed updates, and you should have rebooted. If I re run the uptime command, I'll see that you rebooted recently. And when I check your system, I'm going to do yum check dash update and make sure the updates were applied. So that is what you need to do if you want to make sure, if you want to see what I'm going to do to check your system. Uh, there should be no updates uh, available. So no updates came up, so no updates are available. Um, so uh, that is that. Now that we've got the system installed on, and on the network, we don't really need to use this vert manager thing anymore. So I'm going to kill that. Right, I'm going to kill that, and I'm going to uh, find my other terminal window. All right, so now I'm going to SSH directly to my system. This is probably how I would be working right now if I were you. I would connect to the VPN and SSH directly to my system, or I would SSH to CNT server and then SSH to my system. So now that we're uh, on the system, we've got it updated. The next thing we want to do is we're going to mess around with a, a second file system. We're going to add another disk to the system, and then we're going to uh, set it up so we can use it. So if we do ls uh, slash dev, it's going to show us a bunch of stuff. But the thing we're interested in is our actual disks. And disks start with like, you know, SDA for a SCSI disk, or VDA, I think it's a virtual disk, or what other kind of disk could there be? I don't know. But anyway, we have VDA uh, is our disk, and we have a VDA1 and a VDA2 uh, partition, right? And if we run the mount command, that will show us our mounted file systems. If we look at our mounted file systems, we'll see we have dev VDA on slash boot, right? Uh, but we don't see dev VDB anywhere, not VDB, VDA2 anywhere. And that's because this, this uh, volume group is using VDA2. So mount shows us our mounted file system. So right now we only have the one disk installed. So we're going to add another disk. And you can do that for yourself because I wrote a script to do it, let you do it for yourself. Add second disk. And then the, the argument you're going to want to put is going to be your username. I'm going to put demo2 because that's the name of the machine I want to add it to. Um, but you will, will put your username because that's the name of your machine. It's going to ask for the password. That's the password for student on that system. So now we look. It created a VDB uh, to and attached it to my system. So now if I do ls slash dev, I should have a VDB. Did I say VDB2? No, it's just VDB. So now the disk exists. There's a couple of different things we want to do. We could create a bunch of different partitions to make it uh, multiple partitions, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put a file system on it. And the way we do that is with makefs, we tell it what type of file system we want. I'm going to do ext4, and then we need to tell it the disk we want to put it on. Dev v d b. So I created a file system um, on that on that uh, disk. Now we want to mount that file system. <clears throat> and in order to mount a file system, you need a mount point. And a mount point is a directory. I think we talked about this earlier in the semester on a different different uh, topic. A mount point is a directory. So I'm going to create a directory called slash data, right? And now I'm going to mount my disk onto slash data. And the way you mount that is you use the mount command mount slash dev slash the name of the disk vdb and then the mount point so now if i run the mount command i will see that now i have my vdb mounted into the uh, slash data partition so now i could use that partition to put uh, files in it to store my data there so that's cool uh, and all and, it, and it's useful but now if I was to reboot my system when it comes back up it's not slash data is not going to be mounted by default so we want to have that be mounted by default so we're going to uh, first I'm going to unmount it to show you how to do that to, to unmount a, a file system you use the umount command and then you put the mount point and that unmounts it right so now it's not mounted anymore so I'm going to uh, edit the file that gets read at startup time to uh, tell it uh, which file system to mount, which is the FS tab, which I guess stands for file system table. So what we have in this file is we have a list of the devices that get mounted and the mount points and some options. So what we're going to do basically is go down here and add another line to this. But before I do that, I'm going to warn you, 
that if you're not careful, you have typos in this file, you might make your system not boot. So you wanna make sure that, that you're being very careful here. So the first thing we're gonna put is the actual name of the disk, VDB. Then we use tabs, it's tab delimited. The mount point is slash data. File system type, I just put the file system on of ext4. The, there are some options you can use when you mount it. We're gonna just take the defaults because we don't wanna think about it. This next field, uh, this tells the dump utility whether to make a backup of it. We're not using the dump utility, so we'll go ahead and put a, a zero there. And then the next field, I guess there's just a space between that one, uh, is the FSCK order. Uh, if you've ever booted a Linux system that hasn't been on, on for a while or hasn't been booted for a while, lots of times it'll say, oh, hey, this disk hasn't been checked in 180 days. We're going to check it now. So basically, this is just telling it what order to go in. Since I have already have a one up here, I'm just going to go ahead and put a two uh, for this file system. So now we will uh, get out uh, WQ, right quit. So a thing you can do now that the disk is in that uh, file, FS tab file, you can type mount in just the mount point. And since it exists in the file, then it will mount if it finds it. So this should work. And this is also a good indication if our file is correct, because if that didn't work, then our file would probably, um, that probably, if our, what am I trying to say? If our file was not correct, then that probably would not have worked. So since it worked, that makes me feel pretty good that my file is correct. So now I have my second disk mounted. I have my uh, FS tab um, configured. So now I'm going to reboot my system. And hopefully it will come back up. Go watch it boot. Hopefully it will come back up and my file system will be mounted. It's booting, that's, that's, uh, that's promising. All right, so it's up. Like I said, I'm not really gonna use the vert manager for anything much anymore. So now I'll SSH back into my system and I'll type mount and I will see that, hey, check it out. It did mount my second disc. So um, that's pretty much the last thing you need to do uh, for this module. I will tell you that uh, copying and pasting from here will work and you've copied that and then paste it into desire to learn for your answers. Some people seem to have problems with that some semesters. If you're trying to copy from the vert manager, that's not going to work. So don't even try that. Uh, just do it from the uh, terminal window. And that should be it for this, uh, this module.